When anything is wrong with one of your children, it, it hits you more deeply than, uh, than anything does. My son Owen and I um, share this dark sense of mortality because of uh, serious illnesses that we've had. And it's, it's created a bond between us that's uh, you know, much different from the bond that I have or that we have with the rest of my family. In 2005, my left lung collapsed three times and I had surgery to fix it. And my right lung collapsed once and they did the same surgery. In, in 1984, when I was 27 years old, I was hospitalized for six weeks and ended up having my colon removed because of a radical case of ulcerative colitis. In 2007, my liver failed um, and I spent two weeks in the hospital. And then in 2008, I learned that I, um, that I had prostate cancer and I had the prostate removed and then learned that my cancer was very aggressive and I had additional treatment. We've both looked death in the face at a young age. <laughs> Owen's lung problem really had nothing to do with his, uh, his liver failure. That was just biological bad luck. The colitis that I had back in the 80s is an autoimmune disease, um, given that Owen's uh, liver problem was an autoimmune problem. And, and the, you know, the way genetics work, there's certainly a very good chance that uh, it's not a coincidence that, uh, you know, that dad had an autoimmune disease and now, you know, and now Owen, uh, Owen has an autoimmune disease. When I was in the hospital and my liver failed and I had to see my dad crying his eyes out and yelling at the doctor to, to take his liver, even though he wasn't a candidate for a transplant, um, you know, that says something, that means something. The few days when that happened were the, the absolute worst days of my life. But unfortunately, this was spring of my senior year, so this was, you know, a week before prom, a week and a half before graduation, and I had had a long-term girlfriend, girl, you know, Kate, you know, this was our second prom, but this was our senior prom. You know, there were events and things that I wanted to be at. I didn't know if I was going to get to be at. I actually went to prom um, for an hour and I was miserable. And then a couple of days later I was able to go to graduation and uh, I don't know, I got through it. Oh yeah. <laughs> it really affected me knowing that he was carrying that information with him, you know, dark and serious knowledge, and that he and that he had to learn how to how to bear it. Uh, volume, yeah. volume. Now I feel ninety nine percent fine um, on any given day. I'm not really thinking about all of this. I'm not really thinking about my liver, my lungs. I know I take medication twice a day, but it's just kind of a mindless task. Like, oh, take my medicine. But it's become routine. Now I can take like 20 pills at once. It's great. Uh, I'm not gonna head it now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> how do you, how do you think it changed you, going through the, uh, going through liver failure? Anything that that I do now that I consciously choose to do, I want to do it, and I want to do it completely, just because I think that I understand and I don't want to sound cliche, but how fleeting life is. Like, I think mm -hmm. it's something that that someone who hasn't spent a while in the hospital might take for granted, the fact that we have life, that we are alive, that we can do things, that there is going to be a tomorrow. You, you know, you hear people whining about something, you, you, you know, and you just, um, you know, you just, you just kind of want to smack them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Owen and I will talk about you know, very deep and serious things about, um, you know, about our respective lives. We were having dinner last night, just the two of us, because my mom and my brother were away. Um, and he said, said to me, you know, I, I'm optimistic about the next three years, but if anything, if anything takes a turn for the worst in the next year, I'm ready. And that was... 
I mean, that's not something you want to hear as your son, as as a son. The, the, the prospect of losing him is something that troubles me, that, that makes me sad, that makes me depressed. You know, if I could tack his liver disease onto my cancer, you know, I'd, I'd be more than happy. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that. Owen, Owen and his brother just, they, they mean everything. 